June 8th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Psalms chapter 50 and 51 from the Old Testament. El God, the Lord speaks, and summons the earth to come from the east and west. From Zion, the most beautiful of all places, God comes in splendor. Our God approaches and is not silent. Consuming fire goes ahead of him, and all around him a storm rages. He summons the heavens above, as well as the earth, so that he might judge his people. He says, Assemble my covenant people before me, those who ratified a covenant with me by sacrifice. The heavens declare his fairness, for God is judge. Selah. He says, Listen, my people, I am speaking. Listen, Israel. I am accusing you. I am God, your God. I am not condemning you because of your sacrifices or because of your burnt sacrifices that you continually offer me. I do not need to take a bull from your household or goats from your sheepfolds. For every wild animal in the forest belongs to me, as well as the cattle that graze on a thousand hills. I keep track of every bird in the hills, and the insects of the field are mine. Even if I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world and all it contains belong to me. Do I eat the flesh of bulls? Do I drink the blood of goats? Present to God a thank offering. Repay your vows to the Sovereign One. Pray to me when you are in trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. God says this to the evildoer. How can you declare my commands and talk about my covenant? For you hate instruction and reject my words. When you see a thief, you join him. You associate with men who are unfaithful to their wives. You do damage with words and use your tongue to deceive. You plot against your brother. You slander your own brother. When you did these things, I was silent, so you thought I was exactly like you. But now I will condemn you and state my case against you. Carefully consider this, you who reject God. Otherwise, I will rip you to shreds and no one will be able to rescue you. Whoever presents a thank offering honors me. To whoever obeys my commands, I will reveal my power to deliver. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your loyal love. Because of your great compassion, wipe away my rebellious acts. Wash away my wrongdoing, cleanse me of my sin. For I am aware of my rebellious acts, I am forever conscious of my sin. Against you, you above all, I have sinned. I have done what is evil in your sight, so you are just when you confront me. You are right when you condemn me. Look, I was guilty of sin from birth, a sinner the moment my mother conceived me. Look, you desire integrity in the inner man. You want me to possess wisdom. Sprinkle me with water and I will be pure. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Grant me the ultimate joy of being forgiven. May the bones you crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins. Wipe away all my guilt. Create for me a pure heart, O God. Renew a resolute spirit within me. Do not reject me. Do not take your Holy Spirit away from me. Let me again experience the joy of your deliverance. Sustain me by giving me the desire to obey. Then I will teach rebels your merciful ways and sinners will turn to you. Rescue me from the guilt of murder, O God, the God who delivers me. Then my tongue will shout for joy because of your deliverance. O oh Lord, give me the words, then my mouth will praise you. Certainly you do not want a sacrifice, or else I would offer it. You do not desire a burnt sacrifice. The sacrifices God desires are a humble spirit. O oh God, a humble and repentant heart you will not reject. Because you favor Zion, do what is good for her. Fortify the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will accept the proper sacrifices, burnt sacrifices, and whole offerings. Then bowls will be sacrificed on your altar. God, uh, Psalm 51 is one of my favorite psalms. It's David talking about 
Nathan the prophet when he convicts him of his affair with Bathsheba and the killing of her husband. And those words are so painful to read. They're even harder for me to say out loud. All the things that I not only did to and with and for other people that were sinful, but all the rebellious acts I did against you, God. I don't deserve your forgiveness. I don't know what even makes you think I deserve your forgiveness. But yet you not only forgave me, but in order to have the ultimate pure sacrifice for all my sins and the sins of everyone in the entire world, you gave up your only son. You had him die a horrid death on the cross, taking on the sins of the entire world and turning your face away from him. I will never know how that must have felt. But I do know the depths of pain of knowing that I committed sins against your children that I committed sins with your children and that I commit sins against you. As David pleads and begs with you to sprinkle him with water to make him pure, to grant him the ultimate joy of being forgiven. God, I just come before you with thankfulness in my heart that forgiveness is an option for us. I can't I can't imagine my life day in and day out of having to carry around that burden of sin, of guilt, of frustration, of anger, of hurt, of of pain and lies. This amazing forgiveness that is endless and eternal. That does make me whiter than snow. That does allow me to be your child. That does take away your anger from me. Even though I caused it in the first place. As David said, you are very right to condemn me. You have every right to confront me, condemn me, provide consequences for my actions. And boy, have I received consequences. (laughs) But through all of that. I somehow receive this amazing gift, not just of forgiveness, but this relationship that I get to have with you. I'm not sure how I can be so incredibly messed up. And you have this love that will completely take care of all of my rebellious acts with complete forgiveness. And then on top of it, you also want to be with me and love me. And guide me and teach me and discipline me and help me grow in our relationship. And you even give me the honor of allowing me to go out and tell other people about you. (laughs) With the incredible messed up life that I have had, you allow me to go out and tell people about you. I am in awe. I am in awe that I have received so much and I am least deserving of any of that. God, I just lay everything at your feet. All the things I want to control, all the things that I selfishly want, all the things I lust for in this world, all the things that I make gods before you. God, I just lay them at your feet. I truly, truly don't want them. I know the worldly side of me is attracted to them, but I truly don't want them. I want you and I want your forgiveness and I want your love. And I want you to cleanse me of these sins. I need your compassion. 
I need your grace. I will rejoice in all that you do for me. I will rejoice in the amazing love that I will never fully understand that you have for me. Thank you, God. In your son's name I pray. Amen.